All right, Bend, Oregon, right? Bend, Oregon is the topic. We're always talking about Bend, Oregon and Central Oregon, lifestyle in Bend. Well, today we are going to talk about the undiscovered suburbs. You know, the outer uh, areas of town, or maybe the, the newly developed or the growing, you know, the, the places where home buyers and renters need to find out about if they're kind of trying to find what's going on in Bend. You know, we got popular neighborhoods like Gold Mill and Northwest Crossing, downtown that you kind of easy to research and find out about. Uh, but we're going to talk about some of those gems that people don't know about and what those advantages are. Maybe it's more space. Maybe it's more affordability or just a quieter lifestyle that still gets you close to the action of all the benefits that we talk about on the channel. So we're going to go and talk about the undiscovered and underrated neighborhoods of Bend right now. All right, so thanks for joining us today as we tour the most underrated suburbs of Bend, Oregon. So where is, and, and what I plan to do is give you the top 10 list. We're going to start with one of my favorites. And right now we're at the parks at Broken Top. So Broken Top is a mostly gated community. It does have some parts of it that you can access uh, publicly, uh, but gated community built in the 90s around luxurious and amazing golf course country club with restaurants fitness centers common areas where people from the neighborhood do congregate you know holidays events you know all those kinds of things that come with that country club living so built in the 90s uh, the parks is kind of the second phase came more towards the late 90s and is you know beautiful let's take a look so we're in the middle of the parks where you've got the pool community center basketball courts sided with a beautiful park surrounded by luxurious homes very well set and mature trees and landscaping that really kind of gives you that feeling of being tucked away into the forest, you know, right on the edge of all the mountains and all the things that we love about Bend. So five to 10 minutes out of town, this is, you know, something that when those opportunities do become available, most of them have been updated and are just amazing homes with beautiful views and kind of that serene lifestyle. But there's even a few that have opportunities for updating. So, you know, we'll talk about others like Tethro. Everybody's heard of that uh, as we continue the tour. But broke the parks at Broken Top and the Broken Top neighborhood, that's number one on my list. Let's keep it going. All right, number two on the list. We are somewhere up on the mountain of Aubrey Butte. And we're talking about suburbs, we're talking about sections of town, and we're talking about being outside of downtown on what areas you need to learn about. So Aubrey Butte, well, it's been around a long time and it's one of the first areas that been developed as luxury homes. So bigger lots, beautiful, luxurious homes, probably more starting in the 80s and into the 90s. But why do people come to Aubrey Butte? Well, well, this Butte uh, gives you the ability to build with views from every direction. So it's the views that people come for and the one that I found. Let's take a look at it. So what are one of the reasons that it's underrated? Well, as you look at all the different pockets of town, you know, you see so many sections of town that have things built into them like Northwest Crossing or downtown that offer shops and restaurants. Aubrey Butte is more just that getaway for scenic views and amazing real estate and great opportunities. So let's keep this tour going, but Aubrey Butte, don't overlook this gem. All right, number three on the list. For me, it's Tumalo. Tumalo is a cute little town that is 10 minutes outside of Bend as you head northwest. And what's so great about this town? Well, the first couple stops we went to, most people that really know town, you know, Broken Top, that's part of Bend. Uh, Aubrey Butte, that's part of Bend. Those are not really suburbs. But if you saw, if somebody told you about Tumalo, you'd be like, yeah, that's not part of Bend. Well, it actually is a Bend address. Tumalo isn't even registered as an actual city. It's not incorporated. So it still shows up as a Bend address. Um, but when you come here, it's awesome. You know, 10 minutes northwest of Bend, on the river, Deschutes kind of, the Deschutes River flows out of Bend. And where'd you end up? If you just stay on the river, you're gonna end up in Tumalo. And flattens out a little bit so you get more of that high desert feel you get a little bit less of those tall pine trees and you know we're out here in a little bit more of farmland uh we're out here in a little bit more of uh agriculture so if you're looking for gardening opportunities but it's also got those views we talked about at aubrey view you know as we get into the flatter part of town uh you get a little bit more of that uh view and opportunity for bigger properties different types of homes and a different feel in the community but when you come to the central spot, talked about this location before, we're at the Bite, 
This is uh, one of the common areas of food trucks and, you know, uh, you know, food trucks in a beer garden, which we all know craft beer in Central Oregon is a big part of it. But that common area where you bring your community together. So a lot of those people that work on their land and don't get out into town much, this is where you come. Come along. Underrated? Come check it out. All right, I took a quick moment to show off some of this natural beauty in the landscapes between Bend and Tumalo. And you know it, this is the Deschutes River. We are in the Tumalo State Park campground, which is a place that you can come and uh, spend a little time in the outdoors when the season is right. Um, but this is a put in or take out, depending on where you uh, start on your float in the river. But if you don't know, Bend in the summertime, we love grabbing an inner tube, starting at uh, River Bend Park and floating down the river. So you can just keep on coming down the river and enjoy it all the way into Tumalo. Beautiful, and I love it. Yeah, I've done it. Uh, so what do you think so far? I love your feedback. Uh, you see my contact information below. I am a realtor and I do wanna make contact to hear what you think about our rating of town and uh, your interest a little bit. So shoot us a message, let me know what you think. See anything you like? If you stick around till the end, I got a gift for you. So make sure you stick around. Let's go. All right, the next stop on this tour, Boyd Acres neighborhood. Yeah, that says 1905. So when uh, this town started in the early 1900s, this uh, northeast section of Bend, what I'll call the suburbs to the north, uh, is where it all kind of started in the residential section. You know, we're maybe 10 minutes, uh, maybe five minutes, depending on what part of Boyd Acres you're on, which is a main road that goes uh, south to north and has multiple neighborhoods built off of it. Uh, lots of subdivisions. Lots of newer homes, even though it started in the 1900s, um, and it's a little bit more affordable. So very family friendly, uh, an area where you can kind of get a variety of different homes, but a lot of different neighborhoods built where great schools, great families, and a little bit more affordable. And still right off 97, so easy to get to Redmond, easy to get to Bend, and really close to all of the shops and all the things that you might need uh, as a family here in Northeast Bend. So let's keep it going, but don't overlook Boyd Acres. It's a great suburb. All right, so where are we? Number five spot on our list of uh, unfound or unknown suburbs. Well, Southeast Bend is known for a long time, but just doesn't get the credit that it deserves. And right now we are out at the corner of Reed Market and 27th Street. So I'll call it Reed, Cro Reed Market Crossing. And this is a new spot, just open, just kind of finishing. Let's really look at Cascade Lakes Brewery, Axel's Tocto, Taco Shop, Dental, Mediterranean. And then as we kind of look past 27th, off in the distance that way, we've got a ton of new development, a ton of big things happening with the Stevens Ranch Tract coming together, a brand new library. I mean, we're like three blocks from a brand new library getting put in. So uh, we're talking about underrated suburbs. Gotta check out Southeast Bend. We're kind of right on the edge of farm district and larkspur and kind of this whole area that's you know got a lot of affordability a lot of great uh, community feel and in its neighborhood you know it's where everybody really does come to uh kind of get your sense of affordable community with people around you so check it out all right so we just saw a pretty awesome spot in southeast bend that uh reed market crossing well i'm at a site on my way to our next area next suburb of bend that uh, really just ties in more of the Southeast. So right off of Knot Road and 15th Street, new neighborhoods being built. Brand new high school just opened up about a year and a half ago. And between here and there, all of this as it develops will add the next awesome corner with, you know, food, restaurants, coffee shops, you know, things that uh, are gonna satisfy this part of town. So Southeast is growing, keep an eye on it. All right, let's keep it going. All right, what's the number six stop? We're talking about undiscovered or underrated suburbs of Bend, Shoots River Woods. I will tell you that this is the undiscovered Bend, the old style Bend. So a little bit more rural, we're about 15, 20 minutes south of Bend in a community that is trying to keep it old school. So a little bit bigger properties, a little bit more private land, a little bit more of your own space where you're still accessible to all of the fun. You know, Mount Bachelor's not far from here. We're really right between Sun River and Bend, right off of Highway 97. So, if you don't know about the Schutz River Woods and you wanna find out about what Bend was like when it was kind of uh, before it the, hit the boom, come check this out. All right, top of Lava Butte. I had to take a quick moment on my way to Sun River. Yeah, that's right, our next stop, Sun River. But well, while we're at the top of the butte, let me show you a viewpoint, Central Oregon. So there's Highway 97. 
heading north through the forest. So as it wakes, smirks, wait, makes its way up to Bend, we're about 20 minutes south now. And when you get to top some of these buttes, it sure is beautiful, which you can see throughout the forest of Central Oregon. Well, let me take a moment to say thanks for watching. And as much as I love making these videos, there's one thing I love more, and that's helping people like you, your family, your friends, and people learn about Bend in Central Oregon. So, you see right here a chance for you to uh, hit the subscription button, tap that bell for notifications, let us keep you up to date, and in the short time, hit us up. We'd love to hear some feedback, some comments, and uh, shoot us your information. We'd love to connect. All right, let's keep it going. Ah, uh, we've made it to the village at Sun River. And if you know about Bend, you probably know about Sun River already. So what makes Sun River so special and uh, why am I talking about it as a uh, underrated suburb? Well, it is a resort destination. So this town is full of all kinds of activities for all ages. It's close to Mount Bachelor. It's filled with biking opportunities, pools, water slides, ice skating rinks, you know, fantastic for all of the seasonal specials and holidays. So it really is set up to accommodate. And whether that's restaurants, golf courses, you know, there's just so many things that are an attraction to Sun River and a great investment in real estate. Because it's such a resort destination, it's a fantastic place for second homes, investment properties, rental opportunities. So something that you wanna find out about if that's something that uh, piques your curiosity. Sun River is amazing. Um, but why is it un underrated or kind of undetected? Because it's also a year-round home. Uh, it's not just a resort destination for vacationers. So a lot of people do reside here and it is a great opportunity. And you know, it's just a fun little feel to be in the village, to kind of understand what the vibe is. It's fun to be part of this community and really uh, immerse yourself in the people. It does change with the rotation and there's definitely groups that come throughout the seasons, but that's the fun of it. Come be part of it, Sun River. All right, the next one on this stop, it says Oregon Water Wonderland. And it is part of the next section as we head south out of Sun River. And I call it Three Rivers. So this area is amazing and very similar to Chutes River Woods. Very uh, dynamic in how this neighborhood comes together, what the, the community is like and the, and the residents, because it is a little bit more rural, a little bit more, uh, you know, kind of laid back lifestyle. Probably no HOAs in most of these areas. No CC&Rs, you know, you've got the ability to set up properties as you choose. Uh, which does make them unique. You might have a manufactured home on one property over several acres. You might have a gorgeous log cabin or incredible property. There's also a lot of the, the little deschutes and tributaries coming through. So you got great opportunities to get to hiking, camping, fishing, and really enjoy some of this outdoor experience. So great community, definitely still part of Bend as we head south but one of those undetected suburbs. So as Bend continues to grow, as Sun River grows popularity, and uh, you're trying to find maybe some more affordable, some more land, uh, just a little bit quieter, slower way of life uh, without being part of the big city, but still close to it and still be able to enjoy all the benefits. Well, don't overlook this one. It's underrated, but it is a gem. Oregon Water Wonderland, Three Rivers South, all of these areas, check them out. All right, we've made it to the number nine spot on the list for the best undiscovered or uh, underrated suburbs throughout Central Oregon. And bet, Pine, Oregon. And man, is this a cute little town. And we're 30 minutes south of Bend. We are in a growing suburb. So this is a town of about 16, almost 1700 people right now with a ton of new development, a ton of infrastructure coming together, whether it's grocery stores, gas stations, restaurants, businesses, there's opportunity to grow here. And a lot of people, when they're thinking about Bend, completely overlook it, known for a lot of different benefits. It is known for getting a little bit more snow. It is known for, it's got Highway 97 running right through the middle of it. So access to access to Klamath Falls in one direction, Bend in the other direction, but all the wilderness, all of the camping and fishing and outdoor activities that we've been listing off, access to all of this wonderful lifestyle that we enjoy here in Bend. Don't overlook the pine. All right, on to the number 10 underrated suburb. Let's go. All right, we've made it to number 10 on the list. It's Tethero. And uh, many of you, if you know this town, might not think of this as an undiscovered or underrated uh, suburb or neighborhood. Well, I'm calling it underrated uh, because of how much it offers. And not everybody realizes, as you're only five, 10 minutes out of downtown Bend, that this is one of the neighborhoods you need to know about and one of the one of the areas that really offers it all. So let's talk about it a little bit. I'm trying to zoom in through the parking lot here. 
Uh, right over there, Solomon's Restaurant, uh, The Row, which is the bar restaurant, Tethro Golf Club, uh, the Members Lounge, which has really just had some nice updates to it. Over in this direction, we've got the Pavilion, which is the event space, uh, house your wedding there. Uh, it has lodging, so rental places as far as hotels, but also homes. If you look off in the distance there, those are houses down the road that you can buy, but you can't stay there all the time. They are rentals uh, run through the resort. And then off in this direction, we've got the Tethro Sport and Cafe. That's the pool, that's the gym, uh, that's the locker rooms, and a great space. And then let's check out, as we cross the street, we see new development happening. It's an extension of more of these uh, two, three, four bedroom townhouses um, or single family houses that uh, are used as rentals. So great to accommodate and bring your friends into experience. Then the amount of luxury real estate that is lining this golf course it is unbelievable. So it really brings it all together. Resort destination with high-end luxury real estate that is some of the best. Contemporary, Northwestern, bringing all the elements to uh, what the landscape offers and then lined with that beautiful golf course. So check it out. All right, let's wrap it up. Follow me as we take it to the, uh, the gift giveaway. Let's go check it out. All right, I don't know about you, but I sure love the view looking out over Tethro. It's just where I'm gonna wrap up today. So, did you enjoy the tour of Bend and the undiscovered or underrated suburbs, neighborhoods, and uh, parts of town? I hope you enjoyed it. And as we wrap it up, this is all about you. Have you seen anything you liked? Have you found out any information you didn't know? Or do you have any questions? Well, we'd love to hear about it. And part of how we're gonna help you answer some of those questions, uh, pinned in the comments, we have provided our ultimate relocation guide. And it is a gift, totally free. Uh, I hope you like it, but uh, grab it, uh, shoot us your information, let us keep you up to date. And uh, it's to, designed to give you all the things that you need to know if you're coming to visit, but also if you're thinking about moving here, things like top jobs, hospitals, restaurants, parts of town, parks, all the things we do to enjoy this active, fun lifestyle that we call Lifestyle in Bend. So click into it, uh, give us your information. Again, Theron Heinlein, our partner Joshua Grossman with the Lifestyle and Ben team with EXP Realty. Uh, we look forward to taking care of you. Hope to see you around town.